In this video, we discuss the adjoint lifting theorem. We begin with the proper definition of premonadicity. A functor G is premonadic if and only if G is a joint with left adjoint F with the co-unit L regular epimorphism. And we have shown this is equivalent to the comparison functor being full and faithful. To prove the adjoint lifting theorem, we recall that one, a parallel pair of morphisms FG is reflexive if and only if there exists a morphism S such that FS is equal to the identity on B, which is equal to GS. And two, the adjoint triangle theorem. Given a commutative triangle, if the category A has reflexive co-equalizers, and two, H is premonadic, then if HG is an adjoint functor, then G is also an adjoint functor. The adjoint lifting theorem is as follows. Suppose we have a commutative square of functors. If the category A has co-equalizers of reflexive pairs, G prime is premonadic, and G, J are adjoint functors, then H is an adjoint functor. To prove this, observe the following triangle satisfies the conditions for the adjoint triangle theorem. By assumption, the category A has reflexive co-equalizers, G prime is premonadic, and JG is adjoint since adjoint functors are closed under composition. Therefore, H is an adjoint functor which completes this proof. As a corollary, suppose we have a commutative square of functors where the left and right arrows are the forgetful functors for the eilenberg mohr categories for the monads T and S respectively. Suppose the eilenberg mohr category for the monad T has reflexive co-equalizers. Then if J is in a joint situation, so is H. The proof is immediate since the forgetful functors are monadic. And as another corollary we have, let the following be a commutative triangle of functors. Suppose the category A has reflexive co-equalizers and G and G prime are monadic functors. Then Q is also a monadic functor. To prove this, we use the monadicity theorem. For one, observe that the above triangle satisfies the conditions in the adjoint lifting theorem. Therefore, Q is an adjoint functor. For two, let QF be an isomorphism in the category A prime. Then G prime QF is an isomorphism since functors preserve isomorphisms. But G prime Q is equal to G. Then since G is conservative, F must be an isomorphism. Therefore, Q is also conservative. For three, let FG be a Q split pair in the category A. Then by definition, there exists a split coequalizer diagram in the category A prime. But split coequalizers are absolute colimits, so the following is a split coequalizer in the category E. But G prime Q is equal to G, which shows that FG is a G split pair in the category A. And since the category A has coequalizers of G split pairs and G preserves them, we have the existence of the following coequalizer diagram in the category A with GB isomorphic to G prime C since G preserves its coequalizer. Then since GB is equal to G prime QB, we have QB is isomorphic to C since G prime is conservative. Therefore, the category A has co-equalizers of Q split pairs, and Q preserves these co-equalizers. Therefore, Q is a monadic functor, which completes the proof.